there's two ways you can approach this problem. They're both good ways. One's quicker, so I'm going to focus on that one. Let's talk about the what the sentence means here first, though. If you look at it, it says, by how much does the value of this thing exceed the value of this thing? In other words, how much is the value of this bigger than this by? Okay, so we need to do some subtraction here. And what we're essentially going to be doing is this thing minus this thing. Okay, now you can do this in two ways. You can plug these values into this and then plug them into the other one and subtract the two of them. Or you can do the subtraction first. Now I'm going to focus on the subtraction first because we're going to end up doing less algebra in the ends that way. So remember, I'm saying how much does the value of this one exceed the value of this one? So let's do that subtraction. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do it one over the other like you know you did back in third grade when you were learning subtraction. I have negative 3x squared plus y and I'm going to do minus this thing right here, which is 2x squared minus 2y plus 3. And I like it better this way because it kind of keeps everything straight for me. I can see the x squareds go together, the y's go together, and so on. So let's focus on this first column. What is negative 3 minus 2? Well, that's going to be negative 5. So I have negative 5x squared. And how about the next column? y minus negative 2y. Well, remember, the, the minus negative is going to turn it into a positive, so that's really y plus 2y. That becomes plus 3y. And then in this last column, don't just put 3 down here, like carrying down the 3. I know there's nothing going on in the top row, but if you think about it, this is 0, right? I've got 0 minus 3, so that's going to be minus 3 right here. Now all we have to do is plug in our values. x equals 5, y equals negative 3. So let's go ahead and do that. We say this becomes negative 5, and we have, let's see, 5 squared plus 3 times negative 3, and then minus 3. Okay, well, this is going to become negative 5 times 25 uh, minus 9. That's 3 times negative 3 minus 3. And this becomes negative 125 minus 9 minus 3 which, doing a little mental math here, is negative 137. Okay, so there's our answer. Now, the slow way that we could have done it, just as a reminder, we could have plugged x equals 5, y equals negative 3 into, um, into, hold on a second, let me clear some room here. We could have plugged x equals 5, y equals negative 3 into this guy and found a value, then do the same thing here, and found a value, and taken the difference of the two of them. But I think that would be a little more algebra. It's a fine method, just not quite as quick.